Do you want to catch the wind and bring a windy bee into your hive? Maybe you're struggling to get cloud vials for windy bee, or maybe you're just trying to gather cloud vials to boost. If that sounds like you, then this video is made just for you. I'll be showing you how to summon wild windy bees in Bee Swarm Simulator. If you're also interested in claiming the windy bee, I've got a separate video on that, and if it's already published, it'll be popping up on the top right of your screen. Let's dive right in. First things first, let's talk about how to know when there are wild windy bees roaming the fields. The key to this is the wind shrine. If the shrine isn't moving, that means there are no windy bees currently active. But if it's swaying like this, then you're lucky because there's a windy bee somewhere in the fields. The wind shrine stays in motion the entire time a wild windy bee is active, but be careful it also moves when you donate items, and that doesn't always mean there's a windy bee on the loose. Now, let's get into the specifics of summoning wild windy bees. When you donate items to the wind shrine, you typically receive field winds, but certain items have a chance to summon a wild windy bee around the map. You'll know a wild windy bee has spawned if the only reward you get from the shrine is a cluster of honey tokens like this, there are two known methods that are almost guaranteed to summon a wild windy bee. The first is by donating a star jelly to the wind shrine, as you can see here. The second method involves donating five field dices. Keep in mind, though, that summoning windy bees back to back is extremely rare. To increase your chances, it's best to wait around two hours before attempting to summon another wild windy bee. There's also a natural way to encounter wild windy bees. They're guaranteed to appear on the map every two in-game day-night cycles. A day in bee swarm simulator lasts between 10 and 30 minutes, and nights are 2 minutes and 35 seconds long. This means a wild windy bee should naturally spawn approximately every 45 minutes, perfect timing if you're looking to quickly regain your cloud vials after a boost. And there you have it. That's everything you need to know about summoning wild windy bees in Bee Swarm Simulator. Whether you're looking to boost or just trying to add a windy bee to your hive, these tips should help you on your journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more Bee Swarm content. And if you've got any questions or tips of your own, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.